and you can buy the punch labels, you can write the labels, you should have a stock book so that you know what's going in there, but we're going to treat this like everybody on the planet has touched it, okay? So it's again, you're going to sterilize your loop. Your freezer bead's going to go on ice or a cold box if you have a cold box. You're going to come out, you're going to take whichever culture that you want to take. I will do a line. I'm going to take a single colony. This one is E. coli. I'm going to pick up my freezer bead, five to 10 seconds. Open, five to 10 seconds. Goes in, we put around inside of the beads. And you're gonna let it sit there for like a minute and a half, 90 seconds, okay? While it is sitting there, you will get a needle nose, hopefully long needle nose, transfer pipette. And after it has sat there for 90 seconds, right? I'm going to aseptically go into the culture, when in doubt, flame, right? Yes. Prevents contamination. to press your bowl before you go into the solution, go all the way down and suck out all of that proprietary fluid that they won't tell you what it is. It goes into your biohazard, flame, flame. Shake it down so that your beads are at the top. Put it in your rack that you're gonna store at um, your, in your ultra low, whether it's negative 70, negative 70, negative, negative 60, 70, or negative 80. When you get ready to decide that you need more bacteria, you're gonna to go to your freezer, you're gonna pull out your vial. Your vial immediately either goes in a cold box or it goes on ice. You do not want the entire vial thawing, okay? You will get a cryo hook, all right? Which is just a, a harder metal that's going to pull, that's gonna be your bead puller, okay? You're gonna aseptically sterilize that, fire, micro incinerator, whatever. <coughs> you wanna let it cool, and, and I always keep mine, it's literally called the hook and mine will stay in this little container that it comes in because otherwise it should stay in a place that is completely separate from anything else because it is not a loop it's not a needle it is only used in prep to pull the beads and is that um, specifically made it's for the yeah, specifically made. made for the beads can you give us i got it from fisher but i can give you the product number okay, thank you. yeah because they're just getting it from key scientific all right, so now um, this is my bead, much. right? My hook is now cool. Again, remove what? the contaminants from the outside of the tube. Sterilize the uh, media around it inside the tube. Go in and pull a bead. So does it stab the bead no, when you? Yeah, there's a hole, hole in the bead. Like a little bead. Yeah, a little bead. Yeah, like like oh, okay, okay. There's gotcha. my bead. Mm -hmm. Sterilize. Yeah, now you got to roll it. Sterilize. Pick up my label plate, and I roll the bead around. That's all I do is roll the bead around. Cause the bead to go off, the bead will actually stick to the plate. When you come back tomorrow, let's go. Let me ask you this, can you do it in broth too? Drop the bead in broth? Nope, because you don't know if that broth is sterile. I mean, not, not, not sterile. Seen, you don't know if that broth is <clears throat> culture. I've seen okay. people freeze the broth and just inoculate yeah. the broth without the bead and then take oh. some of that out of there. Now, 